Hi, and welcome. We are having a math conference conversation. I get to be the host because I'm interviewing our illustrious Linda Thunberg. And welcome, Linda. So, you know, the questions that we are just spending a few minutes with the presenters on is to ask you to tell us about your presentation and what everyone can look forward to in your workshop. Hi, Desiree. Thank you for doing this today. I am presenting on three different topics this conference. One, I have just an hour long discussion conversation about uh, enhancing your group hypnosis, basically involving all of the minds of your clients in a group hypnosis, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and perhaps the unconscious mind to get it to be a little more personalized and to really get those suggestions um, set in their minds, even in a group hypnosis. So oh, that's, that's my first one. I think what you'll come away with that is just some really good techniques about how to do that, how to engage all parts of their mind and give them sometimes the very first experience they've had in hypnosis, in a group hypnosis, so that then they'll become a regular client too for you. So I think that group hypnosis is so important in our practices. So that's that. my first one. The second one is about my childhood regression. It is an hour long introduction to that and what's involved in a childhood chakra regression. And we'll talk about that in childhood um, incidences and trauma, drama, and good things too, that all form belief patterns in our minds and how that activates patterns in our whole entire lives, right? And how we can help our clients either get over some of those or enhance some of them. Okay. Okay. Um, those, and then so, so far, I'm ready. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> and then on Sunday, I'm doing a two hour talk on enhancing your business and not just aligning your business, actually, not just enhancing it, but aligning it body, mind, and spirit. You know, sometimes we think we're doing all the right things with all the paperwork and all the marketing and all the stuff that we do and that we're told that we have to do. And yet our business doesn't thrive. Mm -hmm. And we ask ourselves, what's going on? I'm I'm doing my social media. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But what if we're not a aligned in our mind? Do you really believe that you can have success in a in a hypnosis um, practice? So we're going to talk about some of that. We're going to get our mindset. We're going to get our body set into yes, doing some of those physical things online and everywhere else that we need to, and then getting our spirit set too. You know, what do we see out there for ourselves? I'm going to include a group hypnosis on exactly how we're going to manifest the best business for each of you and personalize that just for you. So that's my intention for that's my classes. I love it. I love it. Um, I look forward to being in there. And especially, um, I like how you're leaning toward, um, especially with the first and, and last uh, sessions you mentioned, like the whole idea of personalizing, both for us as hypnotherapists and also for the clients, to um, that it's not one size fits all. And I think that's especially true with transpersonal hypnotherapy, right? Absolutely. You know, so. it, it is. It's who we are. We're very client-based. And when you want to be client-based, how do you do that in a group hypnosis? And how do you do that for yourself? What are your real intentions for your business and for your clients going forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Linda, because you are, I'm not going to ask, uh, you know, an extra question or two here, because you're not just a presenter. You are the National Association of Transpersonal Hypnotherapists, queen, you know, goddess, guru, um, and you've been doing this since, what was it, 20... 2000 and... uh, I don't even know yeah. anymore. Um, I... <laughs> but... eight, somewhere around there is where I started, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, with Alan and Dee. Mm -hmm. And then I went on to do some workshops and certifications um, in pain management. I went to Dolores Cannon's um, quantum healing mm -hmm. hypnosis techniques. I've done some Brian Weiss things um, and always came back to NATH as well and just yeah. love their program. So that's kind of what my training is besides all my mediumship and 
um, ordained minister and all that other metaphysical stuff that we sometimes get into as transpersonal hypnotherapists. And then, yeah, I took over NAS in, what was it, 2018, I think. I'm losing oh, track. It, it, uh, no, it, it, it's been longer than that, 16 or 17. Yeah, I, I think. think it'll be, I think it'll be seven years coming up this May. Yeah. Time yeah. is, is flying by, but for the conferences, for me, it is literally bringing us all together. And I don't consider myself a queen, a guru or any of that. I am a transpersonal <laughs> hypnotherapist and I just happen to do all the paperwork and all the other stuff for NAP. Um, I but really I hope that- to be a business person too, you know? Um, yeah. So that, that's why the business presentation is really important for, uh, you know, people more like, I, I say, I'm more, you know, I just want to ro run through the fields and throw rose petals. So certain workshops are really more necessary for someone like me who is, you know, needs to get their little ducks and get them all to quack in a row properly and aligned. So, uh, you know, um, tell us about how you arrived at the theme for this year. Oh, we want to be in alignment. Um, and taking that whole body, mind and spirit that we are with transpersonal hypnotherapy and bringing it together and having, and I will say most of our presentations are about aligning in some way, because as we align ourselves, we can also help our clients to align in self-healing, right? Mm -hmm. And we, so a lot of the presentations are, how can we help ourselves to help them? Because it starts at home. It starts with us. Yes. Yeah. Start at the beginning. And my last question for you, uh, especially because, you know, it's, uh, you create this every year. It's, it's like having a baby, every, you know, a baby mm -hmm. a year. That's a lot of work. Um, what is your favorite part about that day mm -hmm. that the conference begins? Wow. <sighs> I'm really surprised that brought up a lot of emotions. Um, it is, I saw myself putting up the banners and being in our gorgeous meeting rooms this year and seeing the people come in, seeing our yeah. members come in, seeing people greet people that they haven't seen in a year, um, getting all those hugs in and yeah. just the conversations, literally um, the sharing, the networking, the fun that we have on Saturday night the awards, um, surprising people. I like to, I don't like to be surprised. I like to surprise people. <laughs> so well, I have the a awards, <laughs> that's right. With the awards and everything, I, I have fun in that. Um, but the thing that I like the most is just seeing the people come in and being excited and meeting their friends and seeing, <laughs> seeing their family again. It truly is to me like a reunion. It is why all of us on the board, I hope, um, I know all of us on the board have a passion for the conference and have a passion for this because we do get to see everybody gathered together. I'll yeah, leave it at it that. Definitely. And thank you for arranging our annual family reunion with such love. Okay, so well, thank you. I appreciate you and I know the rest of the membership does and I can't wait to see you. I so, can't wait to see you either in four short weeks. As of today, our conference will have been going on for an hour already. So <laughs> I have to wake up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> on we go. Thank you so much for today, okay. Desiree. And I will see you in a few short weeks. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Linda. And I'm I going know. to go ahead and end this because I'm going to keep going otherwise. Okay. Bye.